Well, I think the main reason is that it, it's a way of bringing to bear the very best science and technology in the UK and beyond to the Three Hours Agenda. Um, the Three Hours is really going to benefit from having the best minds and the best science. Uh, and that in turn improves the Three Hours so that pioneers better science. I think the other important reason is that the, the grants system uh, we adopt at NC Three Hours provides a very useful hook to bring in people, eminent scientists, interesting, innovative scientists who haven't really thought about the three R's. And it's a really a way of lining more effectively the wider scientific community with the three R's agenda. Well, I think if you look at the biomedical funders like MRC, BBSRC, and Wellcome Trust, then what they're looking for is, is truly innovative science and technology that's addressing an important biological or biomedical question. Um, and of course quality of science is important for us as well but we're looking for a little bit more. We're also looking for something that is going to have a, a lasting and tangible impact on three R's. Not necessarily all the three R's but on reduction or refinement or replacement or two thereof. Uh, and so a, a good application for three R's an NC Three Hours grant really has to satisfy the quality of science. It has to be innovative, cutting edge, interesting. Um, but also, there has to be a tangible benefit in terms of improving Three Hours. And we're looking for both of these things. The key thing we're looking for is quality of science. Um, Clearly we want uh, somebody with a track record, an able, innovative scientist who's working in an environment that encourages good science. Um, but also we want to see evidence that there's been some thought given to how this might really impact on reduction, refinement and or replacement. Uh, and that means having done a little bit of research. It's not just a tick box exercise. And, and often we find it very compelling where people have taken the time and trouble to think about numbers. And if there's a replacement, you know, how long a replacement, how many animals are going to be replaced? If it's a reduction, what's the level of reduction? And how widespread that will that be? So we're really looking for evidence that real thought has been given to that. And that has been married with really exciting and innovative science. When we first started funding research through the uh, grant system, then what we found were a lot of people were putting in applications um, describing science that in fact could only be done without using animals. And, and so is maybe in vitro or in silico work, but it had to be done that way, but is, is wrapped up as a three hours application. That's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is really innovative science that is providing something that's going to have a, a long term impact on three hours, not just on the experiments that have been done as part of that particular piece of work, but things that are going to resonate more widely in the scientific community and improve our ability to uh, align the three hours with, with good research. So that, that, that's clearly one thing that, that has to be done right. The other, the other aspect is that people frequently don't articulate clearly enough what it is, that they, how what they're going to do is going to bring benefit to three R's. And what I mean by that is that, you know, people say that they're going to develop an in vitro method maybe, but they haven't thought about the likely impact of that. And what we need is evidence that people have really given that some thought, careful thought, done the research, maybe even estimate what three, what, which of the three hours are going to be affected and to what extent. That's what we're looking for. It's not just a tick box exercise, you know, this looks good for three hours. They've got to have done some thought and, and really clearly articulated what the benefits are going to be. Well, the worst thing about the panel is, uh, is when, we, when we're getting to the panel and we're reviewing all the applications, it's a huge, a really huge amount of work because as chairman, you, you have really to be familiar with all of the applications, their, their benefits and weaknesses. But actually the pain is worth the gain because you, you get exposed to a vast array of science. 
uh, from hundreds of, of PIs who have clearly innovative ideas. So it's extremely satisfying and working with a, a very eminent panel and trying to decide what we're going to award is, is really a very challenging but ultimately extremely satisfying exercise. So I enjoy it, but it's hard work.